How many do you think I could put on at once? I don't know. How many do you think I could do? I bet I could do like maybe four, five. I think, how am I doing? Hi, Alor. I'm Jenna Lyons, and welcome to my beauty space. When I was designing this apartment, it was in the middle of having a pretty crazy job and I wanted some place that was like a total sanctuary for myself. A place for me to like really disappear and I really wanted a gigantic bathtub, that was important. I'm six feet tall and I wanted to be able to like completely lay down in it. I don't have any blinds right now, <laughs> so I've been using it a little less. Um, although I kind of don't care, I'm like at this point in my life, after having a kid, I'm like who cares, if you want to look like have at it. I hate shower curtains with a f***ing passion. I just have never really liked that experience and I love an outdoor shower. There's something freeing about it. I don't like opening and closing a glass. I just, the whole experience of like a shower curtain and a glass door, like I've never ever liked that. I'm a little religious about shower stuff. I'm not religious about anything else other than what's in my shower. These are my things that I have to have. I've got it all here. I'm obsessed with this stuff. So this is whey shampoo and conditioner. I just started using it. I don't know if you've ever tried this. This is from Glossier. It's a soap oil. It's incredible. It smells great. Um, it's just like the softest, silkiest body wash. But because it's an oil, it's not drying. It's I get dry skin. And then this is from the Labo and it is a coffee body scrub. It literally looks like a little coffee bag. How cute is that? It smells like coffee. It's literally coffee grounds made into a body scrub. It's a little messy, but I love it. I lounge around in a row more than you would really want to, want to know. <laughs> I love I love being in a row. My friend Giovanna Battaglia got married, and when she got married, she gave everyone robes with her and her husband Oscar's initials on it, and I thought that was really cool, so I still use this one. I burn candles all day, every day. I light them in the morning. I remember staying at this hotel called the Hotel de Witte de Lille in Antwerp, and I remember going down for breakfast and they had silver candlesticks on the dining table and I was like, that is chic as f <laughs> Now I'm burning candles 24 seven. I always keep a jewelry box on my countertop. I have these little people that a friend gave me that I really like. They're little ornaments, like him and her. Anatomically correct, sort of. All my teeth are fused together because I, all of my teeth are fake, so they're all connected. And um, so I can't floss, so I use a water pick, which I'm really... Oh. <laughs> I have so much fun with this thing. I don't know what my mouth first, I always forget to do this. <laughs> One of the things that's been living on my counter recently is some of these Love Scene boxes, a lash line that I just launched recently. Um, these little boxes are coming out for help. I'm really obsessed with the yellow. I kind of like the pink, but... I think this is my favorite. Almost all of them come in two colors, so like a lighter brown black that works for somebody who's got really fair complexion and then a black. Because I like a lighter look, um, I often gravitate towards the brown. But like if I want to do a little bit more drama, the cape black is great on me. It's a little bit like the difference between like heels and sneakers, because they're like occasion driven. Some of them are a little bit more voluminous, some of them are a little bit more everyday. The entire packaging is recyclable, which was really important to us. So if you look at this, this is actually made out of a really refined sugarcane pulp. And, um, um, you can actually just toss this in the recycling bin, same with the entire package. Just remove the little cotton and pop out this little window, and it goes completely back into the environment, which I think is really important. I have these two gigantic medicine cabinets, and honestly, I used to have another person living here, so I only had one medicine cabinet, but of course I've spread. <laughs> so now I have both of them. This one is primarily filled with like products, so this isn't really makeup in here. This is like lotions and potions and elixirs and all the kind of creamy, slathery stuff that I love. I really like this stuff, it's called Skin Creamery. It's really soft and it smells, oh, it smells good. Um, my perfume that I wear every day is Creed Silver Mountain Water. Oh, well, maybe I should put some of this on too, I probably stink. I think I smell, it's a little hot in here, all these people in my life. There are nights that I go to bed and don't wash my face, <laughs> and then there are nights that I go to bed and I'm really careful and really thoughtful. I have a lot of stuff, but like, not really that obsessive. <laughs> These are some of my favorite products. I pulled them out of my gigantic cabinet. This is a Say highlighting balm, which I really love. It's super smooth and creamy, and it's not really shiny. I can't wear a lot of highlighter in my age. The moment has passed. 
This is a milk blend blur stick. I don't know if any of you have used this, but this is cool if you want to just like run out of the house. It's sort of like a moisturizer with a tiny little bit of powder and foundation in it, and it kind of just like you can put it on like quickly and go. I like to go quickly. Ooh, glossy. I love this. This is cloud paint. This is a great like moisture looking cheek thing, and I love giving a little bit of dab, little dab right here. These are clay or clay. I'm not sure how you say it lip melting powders. I don't know how to describe what they're made out of. They're like a powder, but then when you put it on, it <gasps> Maybe don't do that. When you put it on, it melts. It's like kind of amazing. And they're in these really cool, weird, like beautiful colors. The most important, my favorite, Troy Olivier. It's like a matte lipstick. Again, liquidy, but goes on matte. One of my absolute faves. And then these babies. Always in my makeup bag now. I don't go anywhere without them. I love seeing lashes. And that's it. There are moments where I, yeah, like, don't feel great, and there's nothing like a little shot of makeup to like brighten my day. A red lip can help tremendously, or a little pop of an eye can, can just make you feel a little, I don't know, more special. I have this total PTSD from growing up with a really small closet with sliding doors that never worked. And so my fantasy has always been to see all of my clothes at once. I also dress in color stories or I like to look at things together and texture. So I really wanted to be able to see everything. People think it's insane that I have no doors, but I like, I wake up in the morning and I get to see shoes and feathers and sequins and yeah, it makes me happy. I don't actually have a mirror in my closet. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. Every inch of the closet is a custom build. There was nothing here. This was a completely open loft space. The way that the drawers pull out is very particular. The way that the racks were made. I had this piece built for me to have, you know, glasses. There are a lot of them in here because I have a lot of glasses. All of my jewelry used to end up tangled. I couldn't see anything. So like this allows me to like have everything open and available. I'm lazy. I like to be able to see everything. I hate deep drawers. I grew up like scouring through my drawers and you know when you can't find your t-shirt. So I have a t-shirt drawer that's dedicated only to stripes. I'm just really disorganized is really what it comes down to. So this helps me stay somewhat organized. <laughs> One of my all time favorite things in my closet is a skirt that I wore to Solange's wedding. I feel like a princess in this skirt. Um, I'm gonna pull this out. I don't know if you can see my boobs, sorry. Look at this. It's so magical. It's like the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I wanna go dancing again. I wanna have a party. Can we all go out? This is another one of my favorite things. This is a jumpsuit that I had made for the SAG Awards, which I got to go to because of this TV show that I'm doing. I love this thing. This was something that we did at J. Crew. This was one of my favorite pieces. It's like kind of like a weapon. It's not something you ever really wanna, it's really sharp. And you can't fit anything in it, but I kinda don't care. I just wanna hold on to it. All right, we're gonna head over to the shoes, which is like four feet in this direction. I know that I have more than like 286 shoes and I only know because I one time counted. I worked at J. Crew for 27 years. And so I collected shoes over that time and a lot of them have memories and some of them I don't even really wear but I just think they're beautiful. So I know people think like, wow, well, who needs that many pairs of shoes? That seems gross, <laughs> but they're like stories for me. So it's not just about like owning, it's more about collecting and like, and curating and, and actually just looking at them. Some of them I haven't worn in years, but they make me happy. They're sort of organized by color and types. The shelves in the bottom are lower, except for the very bottom one, which is made for boots. Um, the lower ones are made for ballet flats and loafers and sneakers. And then these shelves are all designed for heels. I sort of do them by color because that's how I think. I try to put the sparkly ones together, all the gold ones together. I keep my trainers connected and together. And especially I put the sneakers up high because my feet stink. I do have a few favorites. I really love these. I bought these with my friend Sarah Clary. I got to wear these to the SAG Awards. I just, I am a magpie. If something sparkles, I'll buy it. I don't know what's wrong with me, but it, and look at me, like I'll, but I, I, mean, I can't get enough. I bought these because I thought I saw someone else wearing them and I thought they were really cute. And this is what I do and I don't know what's wrong with me. I bought them in multiple colors, like, cause look at how pretty that is. I look ridiculous in them. I have never worn them. I'm gonna sell them. This is where I'm gonna leave you guys. Thanks so much for stopping by and I hope you enjoyed my beauty space.